So I've got these paintings, uh, these uh, artwork that I need to put up on the wall. Um, I've gone ahead and marked the positions. Um, it's really important to measure from the bottom and um, make sure that you measure precisely because once you've made the holes, you can't undo holes. I'm going to try first to use a nail, which probably won't work into the brick wall, but we'll see. Okay, so I'm going to use this nail. Try to just hammer it to the wall. Apparently you can do it with tempered nails. I've got safety gloves on. Special nails. Thankfully, I have a drill. I have a drill, which is set onto hammer. Get the painting out of the way. too deep because I just need it deep enough. Okay, next. This is from Ikea. And I'm using the middle size one. So these guys. With this screw. This is the screw. This is the wall plug, sorry. That goes into the wall. I'll show you there. And then it's just a matter of putting this into the wall. Now, no, I'm not going to use my hands. I have got this Ozido from Bunnings, which is a power screwdriver. And I'm going to get it in. Pretty close to the wall, well not all the way, because that's the bracket that I need to fit it onto there. So that's the one. That's about right. Okay. So then I do it again on the other the other um, marking that I've done on the wall. Here it goes. Screwdriver, Phillips head. Into the wall. And then it's time to mount it. Now it all looks pretty easy, but I actually stuffed up the first one because I didn't measure from the ground. So one side is one centimeter lower than the other. Pretty stupid. So I'll have to fix that next time. And it looks nicely. It's done. And you can see that's what it looks like. It is just packaging rubbish. That's mounted and that's what it looks like behind. Now, I have actually made a mistake with this one here. As you can see, you might be able to see it's one centimeter off. So, I have no idea how I'm gonna fix that to figure that out. And I'm just gonna put it for these two 
and then I'll show you guys the end product later. We have a problem. This is really stupid because the hole is too deep and so my wall plug is too far in. Um, the hammer drill is a bit too powerful. So I think I can salvage this by putting that in not too far. What happens when you screw that is that it's supposed to make the wall plug expand. I'm trying to do this one-handed, which is probably not the best idea. I'm just going to use this. So if we get the wall plug to expand, it actually just and salvaged it just thankfully all I want it to do it doesn't have to carry a very heavy weight so that's probably gonna be okay and then I need to get the package as you can see I just mounted the third one up and it's reflected in the mirror. Now, this is ridiculous because I didn't measure this one properly. Oh. I made a one centimeter error and so I'm gonna drill just above it and hope, against all hope, that I can still fit the wall plug in. Okay, Lord help me, so. Try to just drill above my error. I need one centimeter, which is oh, hopefully it works. Okay, so I did it. It's here. We can just screw back in, hoping against all hope. Now, again, very gently, without pushing down, just rotating the screw, is the wall plug expand into the spot. That's the trick. Okay. For the moment of truth. Pretty good, oh. and using my spirit level. Now this spirit level on top here, you can see now, oh well, it's okay. It's a little bit high on that side now, but hey, it worked. Thanks for watching. There you go. That's the finished work.